Sienna Claus in the kitchen. <laughs> I hate myself. Hey guys, today we are going to be baking sugar cookies. I'm even wearing a chef hat. I'm actually only wearing this hat because I have a root problem. So we're just gonna pretend that it's like me being cool wearing a chef hat. Um, yeah, I don't bake at all. We're just gonna see how this goes and really just hope for the best. Let's get started. I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, your roots aren't that bad. Take off the hat, no. I've got my computer here and I'm going to pull up a sugar cookie recipe because obviously I don't know how to do this. Ew, sugar cookies look so ugly. They're gonna look really bomb with my frosting on it, so. Okay, we're gonna need some flour. Some flour. Cool. Baking soda, is that the stuff you put on the carpet? Where do we even keep that? Baking soda, found it. Baking powder, done. Now we need a butter, softened. Not hard butter, soft butter. Yeah, we need a butter with emotions. We're on a mission. Oh, uh, my mom is a really nice person and she already softened some butter for me. This is just like the Food Network, I swear. Okay, we need white sugar. Is this white? All the sugar we have in our house is like organic, light brown sugar. So this is like the only thing that doesn't look like that. An egg. Would you look at that? It's my doppelganger. <laughs> Why is there not a lot? Now I need a vanilla extract. Almond. Okay, now we're looking for vanilla. That's all we need. Let's get cooking. It's really sad that we can't have Christmas music on to, you know, have a holly jolly time. Let's get started. One thing I did learn in all the years of my mother baking <sighs> is that you are supposed to separate your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients. Hmm. I also need milk. Some plain Jane milk. Okay, milk is wet. Water is wet, the sky is blue. I hate getting, ugh, there's a shell. Ooh. Why does that sound like water actually from? Got my whisk, flick it a wrist. <laughs> okay, yep. Eggs are so nasty. Sift together flour, baking powder, and salt. I should have done that first then. Butter and sugar. Ugh. Okay, only a tablespoon of milk. That seems a little shady to me, but yeah. What is a cup of butter? Ew, I don't want to touch this. So we're just gonna like unpackage this and just put it in. <laughs> if I can do that, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. This is probably the easiest thing to cook in the world and like, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna guess a teaspoon. Okay. How do you, okay. This looks like it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Don't go in, don't do it. <laughs> okay. I have a Santa spatula because I am festive. Let's just get all of this butter off of the, the whisk because that was the dumbest thing I ever did. I need a beater, not today. I just broke the bag, okay. Oh, okay. okay, that's a cup. This doesn't look right. <sighs> Wife me up. Honestly, let's call it a day, I'm tired. We're gonna take some of our La Dolce Vita classic Italian biscotti. <sighs> yeah, that's a cup, basically. That's another cup. You know, that looks about right. So that's three cups. Okay. So we don't, we don't need baking soda? Why did I pull out the baking soda? Am I delusional? I think this is salt. That's salt. Perfect. Time to mix. Oh, I need another utensil. This is so cute. I like the dry ingredients way better. They're just like so much cuter. Pretty. This is supposed to be like a family activity that people do together and around the holidays. No. This is some hard manual labor. I would not do this as a fun pastime. I got butter on my finger. It's getting everywhere because I don't know how to stir nicely. While we're stirring this, uh, let's take a take this time to talk about world topics. So how does everyone feel about Harry Styles' AMA outfit? It was delicious, in my opinion. <laughs> this is looking so good. Barefoot Contessa who? So much flour. Okay, so what I did while you were gone is I stirred that shit up real good, and then I put it in the fridge for about two hours, let it cool, let it harden and I'm going to roll it out and then cut it with cute Christmas cookie cutters because we are making 
Christmas cookies, cute ones. I'm going to flour my counter so the dough doesn't stick. I know, pro tip. We're gonna turn off the instructions because this is where it gets creative. This is gonna be fun for my mother to clean out. <laughs> Not me, you won't catch me around here. Okay, I am really cute and I have a French rolling pin because I love French things. Hi. Do you wanna see a, what a rat looks like? A little raton. If you haven't seen one in person, this is what a rat looks like. <laughs> okay, when your dogs love your mom more than you. My French rolling pin. This doesn't look right. Am I doing it wrong? Probably. I don't know how thin it's supposed to be. What, what is that? I think, I think my oven is preheated. That doesn't look cute. Maybe one more for good measure, and then maybe another for like really good measure. Time to cut into these cookies. Okay. Now, you don't have to be as cute as me. You can get regular ugly cookie cutters, like in the shape of like an ugly circle or something, but I have cute Christmas ones. So we've got a sweater, a Christmas tree, a star, a stocking, and a snowman. Yeah, that's what love looks like. Cute, so cute, love it. Last but definitely least is the star. Reflower it because, duh, the star. The star of the show, not really. Let's see if I can hit the ceiling. I can. Let's not do that again. Show some love to the snowman. <sighs> what fits? Maybe this stupid, ugly stocking again. That's not even a dream. Now we are going to put these in the oven for I don't know how long. I'm gonna guess eight minutes. Maybe I should read the website. I hate ovens with a burning, burning passion because when I was little, I burnt my hand so bad. Now taking it out is the scarier part. <laughs> While the cookies are cooling, I'm going to make colored frosting because fun fact, I used to eat chocolate frosting from the can just straight up all the time. It was an unhealthy addiction, kind of like drugs. I really should eat healthy, but there's just too many delicious things in this world for me to give up on. All right, I'm gonna take two little droplets of blood. Professional cookie maker. That's me. This looks like art. These don't even look appetizing, but we're going to ice them now. What? Let's start with our Christmas tree. Wow, that's a big, okay. You know, yeah, that's, I, I'm, that's speaking to me on a lot of levels. Okay, now we need ornaments for our tree, obviously. Yeah, one right there. Okay, another, maybe one there, another there, and then our star. Does that not look like art to you? This part red, cause um, that's, the sock is red, duh. Now let's put the fur on our sock. Looks like mayonnaise, but cool. Let's go in with our sweater. Let's make this one pink with a little bit of fur on it. Kind of looks like a piece of toast. So a little dot of fur right there. And a little, it looks like eyes. Let's just make it a smiley face and call it a day. Your own DIY furry smiley face sweater slash piece of toast. That's definitely a snowman. There's his hat. This looks like fire and baby food. Put a little blue mouth, blue eyes actually, because he's Nash Greer. Honestly, snowman or Nash Greer? Let's finish it off with a nice um, brick. Yeah, let's, okay. Do you wanna really just be messy with it because this is abstract? These are my final cookies. They look fantastic, if I may say. After this, I do think I will have my own Food Network show because obviously I have this hidden culinary talent that just needs to shine through. We first have the sweater, toast slash smiley face. It's my favorite. And then we have the stocking. It looks barely close to a real stocking. And then we've got the Christmas tree, which looks obviously beautiful, like a real one. And then we've got our snowman slash Nash Greer because he does share that blue eye quality. Then we have our flower star thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. To stay updated with my videos, I upload every Sunday. You can click the subscribe button 
somewhere down there. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Chef Santa Claus out. I'm not gonna taste these because they probably taste like roadkill, but yeah, see you later. Paula Dean who? What kind of socks are you wearing? The socks that I'm wearing are actually so cool. I can't lift my leg up because I'm not a gymnast, you know what I'm saying? They have a little coffee and donuts on them. Last person you texted. Actually, my last text message was from T-Mobile. It was basically like a cute good morning text saying, hey, love you, have a great day. Just something like that. They were just letting me know that my bill is due.